that like I was saying earlier, uh, you don't need to pay such a high rent anymore. I mean, you can buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I find you funny. I mean, here I am telling you that I cannot afford a million naira as rent per year. And you're telling me to buy a house? Look, seriously, Emeka, all you need to do is just stretch yourself just a little more. Just a little more, and then you are a landlord in this town. And you know, I have something that is really affordable. No, I disagree. If you're talking about being a landlord in some remote part of Lagos, or some village outside Lagos, but in Lagos proper, no, I'm sorry, I can't afford it. <laughs> That's so, true. No, 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 no. I have just what you want. The detached house, the hotel is main environment, the security is tight. I mean, what else? <laughs> Listen. Exactly what I have. I agree with you. My taste exact. Serene environment, detachable house in Lagos. I'm sorry, my friend, I cannot afford it. You're underestimating yourself. You don't even know the cost of the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much does it go for? <laughs> tell me how much does the house go for? You really want me to tell you? Yeah. Look, I won't tell you. Let's go and see the house first. It's just in the neighborhood. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. As you can see, pay and pack in. Everything is ready. All you need to do is just bring your furnitures in mm -hmm. and you can see the finishing. Ah, just uh, very super. I know, I know, I know. It's a very good house. I see myself living in this kind of house in the nearest future. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mika, yes. 12 million naira, and it's all yours. How many years? Forever. Excuse me? <sighs> Please. <laughs> Let me take you back to your office. Mr. Mika, Mr. Mika. What? Look, I, I know this sounds too good to be true, but that is just the axing price. Axing price. Look, what are you talking about? Look, is this some kind of new fraud? It isn't. Uh, look, I take time off to check properties as an estate agent to make sure that the property is right. And then don't forget again, I'm a lawyer. So I make sure I check the papers of the house, if it's genuine. And this is. Excuse me, do you know what you're talking about? Why would you know this house want to, this beautiful house want to throw this house for that ridiculous amount? The house is worth 10 times over that silly 12 million naira. A maker. It's not in my position to ask questions. I sell, that's what I do. Okay. Now, if the house is truly worth that amount, mm -hmm. or it's being sold for that amount rather, mm -hmm. and it's genuine, why are you not buying oh. it? <laughs> Look, I would have. It's just that I got myself involved in some huge uh, investment that took all my funds. 
Look, the family is in a hurry to sell. If you ask me, I guess they are financially trapped. Yes. Sincerely. Twelve million naira. This house. This is really ridiculous. Amount to making life more comfortable for us. How? Baby, we are buying a house with the money. A house is a better investment than a car, you know. Oh my God. Where are we getting the rest of the money to buy this house? And why do we have to even buy a house now in the first place? Darling, because we have a good deal, a deal made in heaven. Baby, if we miss this opportunity, that's it. We're never having it again. Oh my God. It's still good to be true. Are you sure about this house? This whole thing appears too good to be true. Baby, that is what I thought initially. But the good part is that this estate agent is Joan's relative. I mean, come on, he will not cheat us, no. He's genuine, he wants to help out. Ah. If you have felt bad or sad about the way I've been handling this particular situation, but the truth is that we will be happier with our own house, our own home, baby. Come on. We're not selling my car. Baby, but you have my car to drive anytime, any day. And um, whatever happened to, you know, what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours, huh? Really? Yeah. Why don't we sell your car then? That's not the point, okay? The truth is that we just have to have this house. We don't have a choice. We must get this house, baby. And nothing can stop us. That's it. Mika, if something appears too good to be true, it most probably is too good Baby, to be that true. is what you keep saying. That's what you keep saying. But the truth is that... I am this not comfortable. There's something not quite right about this house. Can't you see that? Oh, Adaku, please get real. People get broke every day. They sell their property at ridiculous prices. People need cash, for example. Mm. When we want to go to our house, we'll sell this furniture at any giveaway price. That's it. That's the way life rolls. Huh? Yes. Oh. We're selling our furniture too? Yeah. You don't expect us to go to our new home with this. Come on. There goes our life safe. Get in that house. Dora, if you were married, would you allow your husband to sell your car so he can buy a house? Of course. At the end of the day, that house belongs to the both of us. I'm worried about him. I'm scared that after buying this house, he will come up with something else. And I would just support him. Just make sure that your name is on those house papers. I don't care about that, Dora. I just want what's best for my family. You must care. You have to care. Because you just don't know what will happen tomorrow. You have to care. I have a point there. Anyway, uh, I've given him the car papers to sell. It's just that since I got pregnant, he's been making me feel like the only reason I'm here is because I'm carrying his child. Are you not jealous that he's more concerned with the child that you're carrying than you? I'm telling you what I'm going through. Eh? Every day it's one thing or the other about the baby. <sighs> I don't 
don't blame him. You know, the man has been through a lot. Remember he was once labelled sterile and infertile. I too was labelled barren. But he's taking this whole thing too far. <gasps> Every day he comes up with something new because we're expecting a baby. So, just don't let this affect you. I think he's just excited that you guys are about to have your first child. That's what I think it is. Huh? <sighs> Emeka, life is a very difficult exam. The mistake people make is that they tend to copy the answer from the next without realizing that every individual has his own question paper. Why the lecture? Emeka, as a friend, I would advise you to forget the idea of trying to buy a house by selling your wife's car. Hey, hey, Jones, hold on. If you think I'm trying to ask you money for the balance, forget it. I know we don't have it. Oh, good, because I don't intend to give you in the first place. <laughs> Look, why don't you take the money that you have right now? Go and rent a place. And I'm not talking about renting a place for a million naira. Come on. Tell Aquan that he should look for... Hey, 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 slow down. Listen, I'm buying that house come rain or shine, okay? Nice. Good. So how do you intend to raise the money? Look, you know I hate it when somebody tries to discourage me. Well, I, I am, hate it. I am not trying to discourage you baselessly. Okay, there's a time and a place for everything. Look, what I need from you is not your financial support, okay? What I need from you is your moral and legal support. That's what I need, not some logical reason to discourage me. No! Mecca, you have my 110% support. Great. Good, good, good. That's what I want to hear from you. Yeah. And I also appreciate it if you use some of your good contacts to help me get a soft loan. You know? Keep dreaming. <laughs> Mr. Mecca, this is a check of 9 million. Yes, yes. Uh, that's what I have now. You get the balance. It's okay. Uh, you will enjoy this house. No. You know these things appreciate over time and all that. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, uh, but um, the balance, uh, when is it coming in? Um, you get uh, the balance. Uh, uh, let's see what happens after the close of work tomorrow to next week. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, it's nice that you brought this. At least a deposit for an advance. Huh? so that another person doesn't come in and you know, know these things you know. I need to write you a receipt. Long face is not going to bring the balance for the house now. Huh? Worst case scenario, we'll forget about buying the house. Now I know you detest my progress. Yes. Do you think we're going to get this kind of deal again? Do you? Uh, so we should sell our blood to buy the house. What? Sounded as if there's a problem, Dora. What? This house is no more conducive at all. Mika is accusing me of not being supportive. Have you not agreed to sell the car? Did you see my car outside? Oh, no. The thing now is that he's claimed that I'm not brainstorming enough with him on ways to get the balance for the house. So now he wants to sell both cars. So you can become landlord and be jumping buses? God forbid. Not in this condition now. Eh? Can't let that happen at all. That's why I need your help. Uh, help? What, what, what do you want to do?
Here's a check for 4 million naira. Deposit it into your account. I don't understand. I can't allow him to sell these cars. And I also don't want him to know I have this kind of money anywhere. Okay, okay. Okay, you want me to act like I lent you the money? Mm. Just like a friend helping a friend. I already told him that um, you might be able to help us out. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what is my commission in this whole arrangement? Give yourself. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, if I don't return your check, whether you carry your big stomach, I will be okay. Let's come and go up there, okay? Okay, we'll soon be here. No problem. All right. <laughs> Five million naira to go, you know. Without interest, remember. Come to think of it, she doesn't even trouble me about this money the way you do. Or is she disturbing you? Of course, she won't disturb you out of respect for me, but we shouldn't take it for granted, especially now that you you're now doing better. <sighs> okay. 
darling. I will do something about the balance, but I got it wrong, okay? I love you. I love you. I love you too. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Babe, talk 
You scared the living daylight out of me. When did you come in? I came in a few minutes ago. Why didn't you wake me up? <sighs> Darling, you were in a deep sleep. I didn't want to disturb you because of my baby. I don't even know when I fell asleep. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, you did complain about the guys not working properly. Uh, I checked it when I came in. Yeah, um... When I turned it on, all of them came on at the same time. I only turned one on. It was very scary. <laughs> Not only that strange because the gas is working. And um, the dishes, your loving husband, your sincerely helped you out. What? Adaku. What is it? What? Adaku, what is it? I... Did you see that? See what? What are you talking about? I... Um... I... Hello? Is... Is the gas working? No, 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 don't even try to deceive me right now, okay? This is not about the gas. You're acting strange right now. You acted like you saw something, so you better tell me what it is. What? I, um, um, I, no, no, I, you know, I was, I was sleeping, so, um, um, I'll be fine. <laughs> just hold me, please, just hold me. It's understandable, alright? You know, giving birth comes with complication. You just have to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, stop. Okay, come, 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 come. I know you want some TLC. Come, come here. Come, come. Baby, stop stressing. Up. Oh. <laughs> Baby, stop. I'm here, okay? Stop imagining things.
Um, obvious there's nothing wrong with her. Then, Doctor, what's the current reason for her hallucination? I'm not hallucinating. I know what I'm saying. Then it must be from the village. Yes! It's a spiritual problem from your last visit to the village. That's what it is. I, I don't think so. You know, um, in some cases, pregnant women feel strange, see strange things. It's, it's normal. Have you been experiencing emotional or psychological stress? That also could be a factor. Not at all, Doctor. I'm psychologically and emotionally fine. Doctor, we need to ascertain her mental stability. Emeka? Yes. I mean, your health is at stake and the health of my baby as well. Okay. I've, um... I've already made some prescriptions which I'd like you to uh, follow strictly. Um, but if he continues, you get back to me and then we'll pick it up from there. Maybe run a few more things. That will be all for now. Um, be no sweet. I'm telling you, it's currently so critical. That's very serious. Very, very serious. Man, I am worried. Mega worried. Could this have something to do with the house? What are you talking about? What house? Don't I live in the same house with her? Well, I'm just saying, you know, it could have something to do with the house coupled with her pregnancy, you know? Listen, this has nothing to do with her pregnancy or change of environment, okay? Because I also change the environment. Listen, I was just wondering, so... You know what I think? Seriously, I think this is some sort of spiritual attack. Yes, you know, some spiritual attack from the village, <laughs> or, 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 she currently has mental breakdown due to boredom. She's not going to work anymore. Yeah, she's on maternity leave. Huh. So, what are you gonna do? Man, I really wonder. I just wonder, man. What exactly is assisting you, Claire? It, it usually comes in a flash. Don't, please, I don't want to talk about it. 
Okay, you mean six and spiritual cancer. You know, I could take you to see somebody. House. Yes. To where? If Dara wasn't here today, I don't know what would have happened to me. Look, darling, can you just stop, 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 stop? Just stop it, okay? Whatever it is you're experiencing has nothing to do with this house. Yes. How? He's everywhere. Who? The, the man, the, the, the creature, the thing. So you really want to go? No. Oh, I'm not going. I'll stay. I will stay and die before you know there's something wrong with this house. No, what's wrong with you? I'm in this house with you and I've not heard or seen anything. That is why you have to stay alone. Emeka, I am gone. I will not spend one more horrible night in this house. And the baby? Well, you want to go with my baby? is the baby. If you want the baby so much, it's simple. I can induce labor and have the baby prematurely for you to keep in an incubator. But neither you nor your baby will make me stay one more night in this house. Adako, running is not the best, you know. All right, okay, we'll find a solution to your problem. And the solution is what I have just found. I am leaving. <laughs> okay, all right. Now here's my question. What makes you think whatever it is you're currently seeing and running from would not follow you to wherever you go?
you are not going to die. He's going to kill me. There's no one is going to kill you as long as I am alive. I'll protect you, okay? Let me go with you, please. Baby, 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 you cannot go with me, okay? Look. All you're just going to do is take your drugs and then you sleep off. All right? I'll go out there to do what I have to do. I don't want you coming with me and you exhibiting some kind of tendencies and people will now believe that you're mad, you're insane. Am I mad? And... No, 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 of course you're not mad. Do you think I'm going crazy? No, no, baby, of course not. I mean, you're okay. Please tell me the truth. Am I okay? Baby, you're okay. It's just, it's just a minor spiritual problem. And, and, you know, we just have to take it up spiritually. That's all. Okay? I'll go out there, call Father Jude to pray for you. And that's it. But before then, this is what I need you to do. And I need you to say this one. Believe. I am not seeing anything. I... <clears throat> Darling, look. I don't doubt you, okay? But I need you to say this with belief. I am not seeing anything. I am not seeing anything. And I am not going to hear anything. And I'm not going to hear anything. Good. That's my baby. Let's keep saying it. Come on. I am not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. Good.
took my baby. Who took your baby? I saw him. But I couldn't stop him, Laura. He took my baby. Don't let this worry you. <laughs> I just need you to get well first. Okay? Laura, do you think I might have a spirit husband? I don't want my marriage or my having children. Stop saying that. Stop it. I told you, don't let this worry you. We will take care of this later. Okay. Laura, is it make her angry with me for losing the baby? You have to put yourself together. Come on, it's not the end of the world. You still got your manhood. You can have as many kids as you want. Drive. I, mean, I will do that, but we've got to find out how she's doing. You just can't live like that. It's not. Are you driving or not? Darling, are, are, are you okay? Are you, are, are you alright? Huh? 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 Yes. Did, 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 did you see any, 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 any thing or any... Why are you crying? I, I, I came to tell you 
I've let the issue of the miscarriage go. Okay. Won't you give me a hug? I told you now, let's go to the room so you can just sleep at once. I don't know, but you to be It's not like I want to sleep, you know, I just want to rest a bit. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, you're fine, okay?
Mm. Do you know he threw the cup of water? He almost threw it at me. Is it that bad? Oh, thank you. I need to see a man of God immediately. Something is seriously wrong, honestly. But what did he say he saw that made him do that? <laughs> My husband. That one. Is he saying anything? <laughs> All he keeps saying is that he's hallucinating or he's having nightmares when I know something is seriously wrong. suddenly stopped using his car. Why? <laughs> Look, Adako, God is one. The same God of Dora is the same God we serve. That's it. But there's nothing wrong with calling the prayer warriors from our church to come and pray over this house. And I've told you there's nothing wrong with this house. There is nothing wrong with this house, please. And I will not consent to any prayer warrior or champion to come here and speak in tongues. Lest you forget, our church doesn't permit that. Oh, okay, so why don't we call for that dude to pray over the house? Look, I've told you there's nothing wrong with this house. I'm only imagining things because of the loss of the baby and I've promised myself not to imagine things no more. Now, can we eat, please? Thank you. Are you scared of sleeping alone? Of course not. I'm just worried. Why would you be sleeping on the couch when we have so many rooms in this house? What is all this? <sighs> Darling, you're beginning to act as if I'm sleeping elsewhere. I'm in the same compound with you, same house with you. So what's going on? I'm good, okay? I'll be fine. Good night. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, babe, what is it? You're not imagining anything. You're seeing things. And the sooner you accept it, the better for us. Have I had my drugs? Uh, no, no, I, I, I haven't. Yeah, yeah. It has to be my drugs. Um, darling, can you help me get my drugs and a uh, uh, cup of water, please? I'll get it. But let me tell you, this is not a cup of water and drug issue. We need to pray.
He did this to you. Are you the first woman that will have a miscarriage? If you like, when you leave this hospital, you go back to him so he can beat you again. You hear me? What kind of rubbish is this? Dora, please. Come to my house. Get my ATM card and my checkbook from my room. And a change of clothes. What do you need all these things for? Just do it for me, please. What if I go there and he sees me? What do I say? <laughs> don't, 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 don't worry, I'll do it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god. <sighs> Look, don't you know me? You know me, don't you? You know me. I mean, I, I'll, I'll never beat a woman. No matter how angry I get, I can never, ever, ever in this life get a woman. Never. And make up what you did. Now what, what other explanation do you have for look, that? I don't know what got over me. I don't know. Look, I was seeing that image that was tormenting me. I attacked it and it was my wife just down there. Look, that's why you need to see a spiritualist. I me, mean, spiritualist? No, 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 no. I'm not into such things. Please, no. Don't, don't even mention that. Spiritualist? Or would you rather be comfortable with the situation that you're in right now? Joe, seriously, I am confused. I, I don't know what to do. I'm, I... Let's go and see. Are you sure of what you're saying? Positive. Barrister Jones. Hello, madam. It's been a while. It has. Work, I guess. Yes. Um, this is my friend, Emeka. Oh, Mr. Emeka, hi. Hi. I'm Sabina. Hello, Sabina. Come here. Gentlemen, what can I offer you? Uh, no, we're, we're, we're fine, thank you. Hmm. Arista Jones, no matter how troubled they answer, they still stop by each other on the way to say hello. If I may ask again, what can I offer you? Nothing. We're, we're fine, thank you. Gentlemen. So both of you believe the problem is with the house? Um, I suspect it's the house because they didn't have the problem until they bought the house. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you see, my, my, myself and my wife, um, we believe our house needs some sort of spiritual cleansing. So, uh, what we need from you actually is you know, some sort of powder or, or, or liquid that we can, you know, spray around the house and pray over it and we're good. Yeah. Take me to the house. This is not good. Is there any problem, Mary? Very bad woman. You can't go inside. Don't know what are you doing here? Um, uh, Adaku sent me. Uh, Adaku sent you? I just spoke with her not long ago. Yeah, yes, she's having a little bit of Yeah, I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. Um, and is everything okay here too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's all right. Everything's good. Um, um, you see, that's our, our architect, and um, you know we have problems with the pillars. So, um, um, so she's like trying to figure out six by fourteen, which should have been um, six by nineteen. You don't understand what that means actually, but you know that's what she's doing. Like, Everything's okay. Um, uh, yeah, um, can, can you tell Adaku I'll be with her, you know, real soon, okay? Okay. All right, good. I will. Yeah, you'll be good too. Okay? Yeah, I'm taking you. I see it. Would you want your friend to be present? Or would you want us to do this alone? Okay. Uh, um, he, he stays here with, with, with us. Yeah. As you wish then. Now, wash your hands in the bowl of water. I can only tell you your problem. The solution lies in your hands. Why did you do it? Do what? Why? 
why did you buy this house? Yeah, I, 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 I got a good deal. Was it not too good to be true? Why didn't the agent buy it? Did you ask yourself why? Yeah, he, he said he didn't have money. And you believed him. Greed. You must return this house to him. Hell no! To the agent? To the rightful owner. But, but I don't understand what you're saying. Look, I bought this house with my money, you know. You shouldn't! I bought this house. You are not the first person to buy this house. I, 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 I'm not the first person to buy this house. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Disaster. Calamity. What have you done? Madam, is there a problem? You know what you have done. Oh no. He will not rest till he destroys. And no one can save him. Madam, is that a problem, really? Is it about the grave that is chocolate? Why did you do it? Okay, ma'am. Look, there was a grave in there. I mean, I mean, I, I couldn't live there with my wife. I mean, he was tormenting me. So myself and Jones, we had to dig up, you know, the, 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 the skeleton and the bones and, and, and disposed of it. That's it. And then we even went to the agent's place. You know, that, that, that that's just it. Why the hell did you sell me a house with grave in it? What the hell did you take me for? Just calm down. I'm just calm down. Don't tell me that. Don't you don't tell me to this. Don't tell me that. It's just a grave, and it's the owner of the house that is buried there. I am the owner of the house, and I am not dead. I mean the previous owner of the house that is buried there. You must be out of your mind, you hear me? You must be so out of your mind, or out of your mind. You told me that the owner is a young man who desperately wanted to leave the country. Now how come he's dead and buried in my house? Tell us the truth. But I'm saying the truth, okay? Okay. The young man who sold the house inherited the house from the father. And it's the father that built the house to a reasonable extent before the man died six years ago. He's a man that is buried there. Can you imagine? No, 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 can you just imagine that? That grave doesn't look like a six year old grave. Even the house. Excuse me. Yes, but we came for renovation and we discovered the grave was shrinking, so we had to cement it. Mr. Akbar, are you really this dumb? Just because you need money. Are you dumb? You're insulting me, you know. And I was slapping the middle rises. What's that? How can you sell me a symmetry for a house? Do you realize I want to raise my child in the house? Do you? There's something wrong with you. I mean, something wrong with this guy. I guess that's why the house was that cheap, right? Okay. You want your money back? Just give me a little time. I'm going to resell the house and I'll return back your money. You must be out of your mind if you think I'm going to allow that to happen. You should 
listen to me. You're, you're really not going to do that, are you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What in God's name is wrong with you? You're beginning to act as if it's your father who is in there when I know it is not your father. Come on, man. Be reasonable. Okay? Reminders. This is my house. I bought it with my money and I own every single thing in it, on top of it, around it, underneath it. So I dictate what to retain or throw away. Do you understand me? Now, are you helping me out or not? You must bring him back to his grave or he will send you to where are his bones? Oh Lord, um, oh Lord, um, we don't have them. You must look for the bones wherever they are and bury them back in his home. You must look for the rightful owner or his descendants and return his home to him. You must do it fast. Because your time is running out. Um, my wife knew nothing of this exercise. You know, what baffles me is why he had to attack her and torment her. He has nothing against your wife. Your wife is being used as an instrument to channel his anger. Your wife lost her unborn baby, didn't she? Yeah, yes. He was only after your baby and not your wife. He will not rest until he makes her run away from you. If not for your wife's presence, you would have been dead a long time ago. Huh. Mm. <laughs> your time is counting. Go and find the body. Take me home now. You mean you are not going to tell Adaku about all these findings? Look, what are you talking about? Huh? You mean I should tell her that I unwittingly orchestrated all the problems we've been having? Is that what you want me to do? It's like he said that her presence has been your saving grace. So that is the more reason I have to keep it away from her. I mean, you don't expect me to face Sadako and tell her, oh baby, I, I, I'm actually the architect to the psychological, emotional, spiritual problems that led to the loss. That led to the loss of our baby? Is that what you want me to do? No! Never! Uh-uh! Oh. his, and his it shall remain. Asai is desecrating his grave, which is why your attack is very bad. His property was also stolen. 
and the God of the universe frowns at such. And the book of Micah, chapter 2, verses 1 to 3 says, Woe to those who devise iniquity and walk evil on their beds. When the morning light, they shall practice it, for the power lies in their hands. They covert the fields and they take by violence. Some houses they seize. They oppress man and his house. They oppress man and his inheritance. Thus so says the Lord, behold against the family. I shall devise a disaster of which you cannot remove your necks, nor can you walk heartily. But this is an evil time. So we get it straight. What if he just leaves the house? You know, if he doesn't find the descendants and returns the house, would that be okay? Not at all. He has to return to the rightful owner for there to be peace. He is everywhere he goes. He is right here with us. And he reveals himself to whoever. What is this problem now? But, but, but now I, 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 I don't know his descendants. What do I do? You have to find him. Them! But I don't know them. I don't know them. Your days are counting. And he is watching. Saying, 
They say he who the gods will kill, they will first make man. What does that mean? Your husband has become so entangled with himself, but he knows his problem and he knows the way forward. But his heart has become as hardened as that of Pharaoh. Probably he's waiting for the template, but trust me, that's not going to be palatable. Well, what are you implying? Your husband right now is so unreasonable. You know, he... Look, your husband is the best person or in the best position to explain this to you. But you know what the problem is. Why can't you just tell me? I suggest you speak to your husband. Think is the ghost that made him go mad. Matilda, the elder sister, told me they have taken him to a thousand and one places. And that the spirit struck him with madness because he sold the house. And that he needed to appease the spirit and return the house or else. He will die. Why haven't they done that? Uh, the spiritualist they consulted said the man's spirit cannot be summoned. That the ghost had gone on rampage. The ghost is on rampage. That's what she said. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. The, this man's family, I mean, why hasn't anybody found them? And why is his sister still alive anyways? They've gone to look for them. Even the last place that they stayed before the war. But after the war, they disappeared. And everybody believes that they might have gone back to the village.
what I came here to tell you. What I came here to tell you. I don't know where the families are. I looked for them, I asked questions, but nobody knows anything. You know, what I still don't understand of Phantom is, why aren't you also tormented by the spirit? Hmm. Initially I was. I had seven miscarriages. My husband's business packed up. But ever since I gave my brother the documents and he sold the house, all our issues ended. The spiritualist who took him to said his greed brought all the curses on him. So because your brother currently has this curse, you refuse to look for the real owners of the house, right? No, that's not true. I love my brother and I don't want him to die. My father brought all these curses on us because of his greed. And my brother inherited this greed. He's my only sibling. I don't want him to die. You have to go now. You upset him, my way. Mister, we're looking for a solution here. What makes you think if your brother-in-law dies today, the curse will not come upon your wife tomorrow? You're right. But what do we do? What do we do? I need you to think, okay? I need you to think real, real deep. Now, um, did your father mention any, any, any village? Let's start with the family. Any family? Let's start with that. Um, the family, his name is um, Umezioke. Umezioke, something like that. Umezioke. Yes, I think. Umezioke. Okay, that's an Eastern name. Now, did he also mention any village, probably in the East? The only time he made mention of a village in the East is, he told me about his best friend that um, he accompanied to go get married in the East. And he was telling me how the family milked his friend dry of all the money he had. They practically had to sell everything they had with them. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What village did he mention, please? Uh, I think he said Umu Dafi, Umu Dafi or something like Umu that. Dafi. Yes. Umu Dafi. That's my wife's village. It's a 10 minute drive from my own village. But he, he didn't say he's the same person. No, 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 it must be, it must be. You see, there's a large... Umezoke family from Umwadafi. It is that village and we have to go there now. We just have to. 
You mean right now? Yes, yes, of course, yes. No, we can't go to the east now. It will be too late before you even get halfway. And you know it's not safe at night. You will take us to the airport. We'll catch a flight to the nearest airport to Mwadafe, okay? Jesus. Look at the time. Bonnie. Go there. Yes. Jesus is not funny. I don't think you should. Joe, Jen Law, Jen Law, Jen Law. This is my brother's life we are talking about, eh? I just want us to sort this thing once and for all. Joe, Bonnie, Joe, I, I know. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, 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 madam. I'm sorry we don't have this time. We don't. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, just, just calm down. I, I don't think we need to do this. And why? Uh, because I know the real owners of the property. What? Ah, wait. Excuse me? You do? I never said anything. I'm, I'm just so sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Please. When the house became too problematic, I decided to do my own research. And I went to trace the papers of the house and the previous owners. And you are right. The house belongs to one Mr. Ome Bezi. Okay. Home is okay. And you didn't do anything? You just didn't do nothing till now? I was just to ashamed of myself. Just to ashamed of myself. I was just too concerned about the, the commission that I was making from the constant reselling of the property. Because I wasn't tormented. So I wasn't bothered. Do you know that my wife lost our baby because of the same house. Do you know that? That's the topic for later. Madam, we have to go there, okay? But first, answer me and the truth. Do you know the family? Talk, please! Mr. Omez Yoke's wife that lives in the village. But they have a son that lives in Enugu. Until recently, he was transferred to Lagos. Yes, I, I know where he lives. I can take you there. Oh. Okay. Take us to him, all right? Madam, you're coming with us. I'm very, very sorry, sir. But first, we'll get the documents. We have to go now, please. Now, now, please. Please, please, please. please. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Good day. Um, we're here to see the uh, Mizuki family. We've come to the right place. Come in. Thank you. Why are you here? Um, yeah. Uh, you see, um, we know for sure that Mr. Mizuki is dead. Um, we're actually here to see his son and his wife. Why do you want to see his family? Well, um, we're here to return something to them. Young man, if you need my help, you have to open up. Please, sir, my, my father was a very bad man and he stole something from Mr. Maisie, okay? We are here to return it. Fair enough. Mr. Omezoke, as you all know, is dead. His wife, my mom, is sick and I brought her here for treatment. I'll get her for you. Adako. Adako. Brother. Bring mom. She has visitors. I was here. Look. 
don't need that. I, I don't know. I, I thought you were at Dora's place. Well, if you thought I was at Dora's, why are you here? his own daughter? Oh my god. No, but, but, but seriously, I mean, it's okay. That's not, that's not your major name. Mr. Omezoke is not my dad. My mom married my dad after Mr. Omezoke died. So the whole time you were looking for Mr. Omezoke, he was well within your reach. What a coincidence. What is going on here? I never knew I would see this thing. Oh, my sofa, though. He went through a lot as a young man to build that house. And Mr. Balogu stole it from us. Woman so fat and did all sorts of tedious jobs, even bricklaying to finish that house. But he did not live to enjoy it. Shortly before the Biafra War, he took him and died. We had to escape from Lagos, my son and I. <laughs> we were hidden in a banana truck to leave Lagos. Before we left, I handed over the house to his best friend, Mr. Balogu, and asked him to keep it for us. After we survived the war, we managed to make our ways back to Lagos. As we go back to Mr. Balogu, we discovered I had changed all the documents to the house and sold it. It was our only possession. In life, we had lost everything. I begged him. I pleaded with him. But he wouldn't allow us to take the house back. 
Mama, not to worry. We are here to return the property Mr. Balogun stole from me. You see, everyone who has been associated with that property has its own peace. We are so sorry, Mama. Please, on behalf of my family, my father did the unthinkable and, and took him another man's sweat. Please, please, sir. Please forgive us and take back the house, please. Everything is up to you, Mom. I have no say to this. I wasn't around when all this happened. So I bear no grudge. Mama, your daughter has suffered unthinkable horror. I tell you, since we bought that house, we haven't seen peace. That particular house also led to the loss of our baby. So, Mama, please. You just have to take back what is yours. You don't have to talk about this. My son, you don't need to beg me. I don't want my daughter to suffer. I placed a curse on that house. <laughs> my spirit. Was very bitter. He kept appearing to me. Asking me to avenge his death. <laughs> I was powerless against Mr. Malobu. I didn't just know what to do. <laughs> uh. Your spirit does not reside within your bones. You may now rest in peace. What was stolen has been returned. You will accept the house back. 